Hello everyone, how are you? I am Dr. Labib from Dr. Slabib Academy. Uh, welcome you all. Today we are going to kind of have the continuation of uh, ACCA F6 UK taxation. Financial Act 2022 and it is valid till March 2024 exams. That's very important. So it is a Financial Act uh, 2006 UK taxation valid till. I kindly request you all to subscribe this channel, share this channel. Hope you are getting the advantage, understanding the things. Uh, if further you need further more clarity, please let me know in the comment section. And I hopefully I will take that into consideration. Okay. I kindly request you all to subscribe to this channel, share this channel, and uh, any comments let me know and once once you have uh, once you see it completely if you have any comments put the comments and like the video as such okay thank you let's start uh, this is uh, this is related to section c okay this is related to section c and focusing on section C we, because we once you are through with section C we can have a complete uh, understanding. The scenario relates to one requirement. With scenario first most importantly the mo first we'll do we'll do one by one. Okay. Uh, this scenario relates to one requirement. Idris William has opened a small bed and breakfast and is considering whether to prepare his accounts to 5th May or 30th June. Yeah, we, he has little bit, he has started his own business. This is, this is one thing which is going to be repeatedly asked, assessed in the examination. That you have started the business, we don't know whether we should continue, we should take 5th April or we should take 30th June. Advice it Idris on the advantages of tax purposes of choosing an accounting date. Very clearly it has been mentioned. They say that uh, they say that it is to be either either 5th April or 30th June. Okay. Is it? Well, what will happen if uh, if it is going to be fifth? You see, whenever it, this situation arises, okay, that you are having in the middle, if this happens with every other firm asset. This is not new. when you are started the business. Definitely, it will not be a one accounting year tax year. It will be two tax years. Okay, when you are having in two tax years, there is a going to be a uh, concept of overlap profits is it when you have the overlap profit there is HS, HMRC has very clearly diff will allow a year that falls between 31st it falls between two different periods is it and uh, when it falls into different periods we can have the option of apportioning the profits for two accounting periods is it and based on the timeline okay based on the time now when we have to make it sure that the two things we have to do is that one is we have point number a i am writing here only okay point number a what they are saying advantages advantages uh, of choosing fifth april okay Adva what is the advantages advantages of a uh, fifth uh, fifth april fifth april accounting date
fifth April accounting date. Okay. Now, when if he is choosing the fifth April accounting date, is it? It's very straightforward, is it? It is very straightforward. We don't have any any issues as such. Okay. We have to write. That's very important. If if Idris chooses, is it? If Idris chooses that to prepare his accounts to 5th April, the application of the basis rules will be simplified, as simple. It is, it is going to be very straightforward, is it right? If Idris chooses to prepare, is it? If Idris chooses to prepare his accounts, his accounts, is, is it? Or to 5th April, 5th April, The, the 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 application is that I'm I'm as a application application of the basis period basis period rules 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 will be simplified will be simplified. Means uh, now we can we can we can, will have see very it is there is no issue as such is it there is no issue as such. coming back to the second one okay this is the point one okay this is point two now when you have the fifth April you will not have any overlap profits is it right if you are if he prepares on thirtieth June nine months is it then the overlap profits will arise yeah? and this overlap profits will be there till the cessation of the trading asset understand what if you are making see if you are having a fifth april the concept of overlap profits is it this will not have any overlap profits on the commencement of the date of trade okay this is very very crucial for us is it? what we have to write we have to mention very clearly okay if idris idris will not have is it idris will not have any overlap profits on the commencement of the on the commencement commencement of trade is it on the commencement of trade as such is it on the commencement of the trade if he prepares is that if if he prepares you see understanding my point if he is having on 5th april the things have picture is very clear is it right the picture is if 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 he prepares his it's a it's a, these four marks are basically common sense questions okay because once you are preparing so much on the taxation automatically we have this this basic understanding how it is going to be wiped out if he prepares his accounts accounts to 30th june okay to 30th June what will happen then there will be definitely nine months overlap profits overlap profits is nothing but it's going to be in both the years is it it will arise is it? in the both the tax years it will will arise and and these and these would not be relieved. Is it right? This will not be until the cessation, until the cessation of the trading. Okay. This is the basic explanation what we can do with respect to advantages of fifth April. Yeah, with very very straightforward uh, question answer okay coming back to the second one okay coming back to the second one what they say 
they say that uh, if it is going to be 30th June okay if it is going to be that is definitely the point number is it right? this this is this is underline this next uh, we can put here is it right? underline this we can put advantages of a 30th June accounting date now what happens if he is having if he is having on 30th June is it see the thing 30th June uh, you you take the thing 30th June means uh, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. You will have nine months. Okay, you have nine more months are available. Again, I'm saying from July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Is it right? Now we have to mention that if is it right? We have to mention that very specifically. Uh, If, if Idris prepare his accounts, if Idris prepare his accounts, okay, accounts to 30th June, yeah, the interval between earning profits and paying the related, is it? The, the interval between paying interval between earning earning profits and paying the related tax liability will be how many we have counted just now <coughs> will be nine months longer than with an accounting date of fifth date. This is the first one, okay? Next. Definitely, if you have if you have more number of days with you, is it? If you have more number of days with you, uh, definitely you will have. See, you have started the business. You have you have you have started a new business, and you need time to understand the nitty gritty of the tax structures, tax payments, everything. Okay, so uh, what it says an accounting date. of 30th June would make would make it easier to implement tax planning measures as tax planning measures then as there is a longer period over which to plan fine you we have to mention like this this is for four marks okay now again I will say, if you have a 5th accounting, 5th April accounting date, it is easier for us, it is very simplified process, you will not have any overlap profit. If you have a 30th June accounting date, uh, you will have a gap of 9 months, uh, okay, and during this 9 months, uh, you will have a sufficient plan to, sufficient time to plan, okay. This is for two marks.
is it right? This is for two marks and this is for two marks. Four marks. Fine. Next. Coming back to the second one. Uh, the I am not uh, take, take the B one. The scenario leads to three requirements. What are the three requirements? First, you have to see the requirements. Okay. Uh, calculate Idris tax adjusted trading profit. Tax adjusted trading. Assuming he uses, see that this is what very important. Based on what normal accrual basis. Yeah. First, you have to prepare tax adjusted trading profit on normal accrual basis. Second, we have to prepare the base on cash basis. Uh, using the cash basis and the third we have to know how much tax you are paying as per the accrual basis and how much tax you are paying as per the cash basis that differentiation we have to mention and we have to mention them in which in which method the tax is less which is beneficial plus okay so first you have to work out with the cash ba accrual basis. The second we have to work with the cash basis. Now Idris have three requirements. Idris comes trade on 6th April, decided to prepare first set of accounts to 5th April. The following information is available for profit and loss account for the first trading year. They have revenue, food, uh, expense depreciation is there car is there, other expenses are there, fine, this is the revenue includes 1025 which is still receivable, okay. this will be help us in terms of accrual basis and cash basis, okay, when we are talking about the cash basis, we have, we should exclude 10,275, okay. 10,275. Idris paid 95% of the purchases and the remainder in May 20. Again, we have when cash basis, how much you are paying cash, you have to pay that much only. Next, uh, you you have uh, the, uh, the Idris is living in a part of the bed and breakfast and 4,500 paid during the period related to his personal use. Is it related to his personal use as such? We will take that. The depreciation charge related to furniture 3500. Okay, 3500. See, depreciation is a non cash expenses. Okay, depreciation is a non cash expenses. And car purchase 9000, there is a commission of 35 grams. We have to follow the uh, percentages with related to car use like CO2 emissions. The car expenses is 9,340. Uh, he drove how many months? 13,000 business out of means 7. Means 7,000 is miles is for private use. Is it? 20,000 minus 13,000, 7,000 miles is for. The ex other expenses is 400 was and the other expenses of all allowable for tax purposes. 400 of these expenses were unpaid at means you have not paid 400. Okay, definitely if it cash basis only cash expenses we have to take. The cash basis private use adjustment for one occupant is how much 4200. This is with this we'll take into consideration when you are doing on a cash basis as such. Okay, and uh, you you have one rule is there. Is that what is the when you are talking in terms of cash basis? Is that I will write here. I will write here one asterisk mark. I will put you have the cash basis accounting cash basis accounting what is the mag revenue limit revenue limit is revenue limit is 150000 because the cash basis is not for all if if your revenue is less than 150000 pounds then uh, cash basis accounting is applicable 
अदरवाइज इट्स नॉट अपलिकेबल ओके नेक्स्ट नाउ कम वी विल स्टार्ट विद द अक्रूअल बेसिस फाइन विल स्टार्ट विद द अक्रूअल बेसिस बी वन ओके बी वन tax tax adjusted trading profit on accrual basis accrual basis we don't have any issues as such is that what is the net profit we we'll start with net profit net profit is how much net profit is Twenty thousand one seventy five. Okay, twenty thousand one seventy five. You have the food. Food I need. Uh, twenty thousand. Next, uh, they have paid seventeen thousand nine sixty, and the remainder is this much. If this is living in a in a bed and breakfast. Four thousand four thousand five hundred. Point number two. Four thousand five hundred. Paid during the period is for personal use. Is it food, food, utilities, personal use? It is taxable. Is it four thousand five hundred? Next, how much? See, this is over. Is it? Right? This is over. This is over. And depreciation is how much? Depreciation is one thousand. Depreciation is how much? One thousand two fifty. Is it right? You have the car expenses, right? Car expenses. Okay. Car expenses. See, they have used nine thousand three forty. Is it right? Nine thousand three forty times. How much they have used for personal use? Seven thousand miles. Seven thousand divided by twenty thousands. It comes to how much? Three thousand two sixty nine. Okay. Next. Uh, you have the you have the uh, Capital allowance, is it right? You have the other expenses of allowable for tax purpose. The car expenses is nine thousand three forty. There is a depreciation charge, is it three thousand? Say the depreciation charge related to furniture for three thousand five hundred annual investment allowance. Okay, annual investment allowance three thousand five hundred is totally deductible. And they have purchased a car of three thousand. Is it? They purchased a car of three thousand for private use. Uh, I will write here only. Okay, I will not uh, take uh, another wire. Uh, I will put uh, here only. Fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next. Uh, how? I just I will write capital allowance. Capital allowance. Is it? I I will write in a very short way. Main pool, main pool. It will have a private use. Is it right? Main pool, private use, and you will have the allowances. Is it right? Now, uh, they have. See, they have. Uh, they have a. Uh, they purchase the car. Is it right? Uh, they get a car purchased on sixth April. The car, car purchased. Car purchased on sixth April. How much? Nine thousand. Car purchase is nine thousand. They have additions, okay? They have additions. How much is their furniture? 
furniture how much 3500 is it you have annual investment allowance is it how much you can that we have to we can deduct that 3500 respect to the furniture fine now uh, uh, for the car is right it is what is the m uh, uh, m what is the it is one to one fifty grams is it if it is one to fifty grams per kilometer what is the percentage return down value is eighteen percent okay return down value is eighteen percent or the return allowances at the rate of 18 percent okay at the rate of 18 percent how much you'll get uh, if you take nine thousands nine thousands times 18 percent it will come to how much it will come to one six two zero okay? it comes to how much one six two zero and allowance is how much into Is it how much you have to they, they have taken seven thousand is it right they have they have used how much seven thousand what is the percentage of seven thousands uh, seven thousands seven thousands divided by twenty thousands uh, into hundred it comes to how much thirty five percent okay it comes to how much thirty five percent it comes to how much thirty Five percent is for thirty-five percent is for personal use. Sixty-five percent is for the business use. Is that sixty-five percent? How much will come? Zero one zero five three. And this will also be here. Is it right? This will also be here. How much? Three thousand five hundred. Okay. Now you you can put it. How much? Three five five. Okay, how much is this one? It is seven three eight. Is that how much you have to take the the capital allowance? Capital allowance we have to take how much? The capital allowance we have to take four five five three. Is it four five five three? First you have to add, then you have to detect. Okay, then you have to detect. How much is the? It comes to, it comes to twenty one seventy five plus four thousand five hundred plus one thousand two fifty plus three two six nine plus four five five three. It comes to how much? Twenty nine one ninety four. Okay, from this you have to detect. First you have to show it, okay? First you have to show what is the, how much it is there, then you have to detect. Is there, it comes to how much? Two, four, six, four, one. Is there, two, one. This is tax adjusted, tax adjusted trading profit, tax adjusted trading profits on accrual basis okay tax adjusted trading profits on accrual basis Next, we will do here only, okay? We will not take uh, other thing. We will do on the cash basis. See, uh, point number two, okay? Cash basis. Cash basis. Tax adjusted, adjusted trading profits.
of it is okay the, see the the most important thing is i told you just now is that i just cash basis accounting is the revenue limit should be less than 150000 pounds okay is it they, he can use he can use the cash basis anybody can use the cash basis accounting subject to the condition that the revenue limit is not greater than 150000 pounds fine now now we have to take only what is related to cash okay we should not take into consideration anything revenue how much is the revenue revenue is 49910 okay for minus how much they have not received 10275 it comes to how much it comes to 39635 next uh, so less food how much uh, they have not paid is that paid only 95 percent of food okay paid nine of purchase of uh, 17,660 food is it right food less how much you have to have to take only what have been paid in cash is it right food etc okay how much is this 17,660 times 95% it comes to how much 16,777 okay now how much you will get you will get 8 5 8 2 2 they have given you here the cash basis private use adjustment for one occupant in the business for 12 months is how much? 4,200. Add flat, flat rate, private use. How much? Flat rate, private use is how much? Flat rate, private use is 4,200. Next, less. Now you can understand little bit you have you have to little bit you have to think about uh, the financial accounting also depreciation. It is a non-cash expense. Okay. Next capital expenditure. How much they have spent capital expenditure? Depreciation charge related to the furniture bought in the period for how much they have uh, for 3500 they have bought the furniture is it right how much is it 3500 now car expenses is it right? car is a point number four okay how many miles he has driven he has driven 13000 miles okay car expenses same thing, 10,000 into 0.45 and 3,000 into 0.25. It comes to how much? It comes to, oh, it comes to 4,500 and 4,500 and 750. It comes to how much? 5,250. We have other expenses. Is that point number 5? Other expenses are 1,485. And 1,485, uh, and the point number 4 is unpaid. Is that other expenses? Now you can understand it's very, very 1,485 minus 400. 1085 okay you put all the things here minus this one 3500 5250 1085 it comes to how much 9835 tax 
tax adjusted trading profit how much uh, 22,858 plus 4,800 plus 9,855 17, 2, 23 See if you pay accrual basis how much you are paying taxable profits is adjusted profits are 24 6 for 20, 641 see definitely by, by by basic understanding you can say if it is cash basis the profits will be comparatively less only is it right? this is this is this is okay fine now the the last one okay uh, th this is the conclusion okay point number three so in state with basis will be more beneficial is it right see uh, 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 on accrual basis accrual basis how much is the tax adjusted tax adjusted trading profit trading profit is how much 24641 on cash basis how much is this 17,223 as on cash basis the tax adjusted tax adjusted trading profit is is lesser than accrual basis cash basis is beneficial to Mr. Idris ok are you clear about this hope you, you got that here what we have done we have done see slowly steadily you just um, go, go through the things which we have done okay it makes uh, it makes uh, a clear understanding okay first we have taken what is the fifth accounting april accounting date and 30th june accounting date accrual basis we have to follow the same process uh, uh, is it at accrual basis uh, and cash basis uh, we have to take into consideration the see in accrual basis you will have the capital allowance is it right in cash basis you will not have the capital you will you will pay the car expenses right? okay so thank you so much inshallah we will uh, uh, come up with another another uh, continuation to this uh, and please subscribe to this channel share this channel and any comments put the comments in the comment section and uh, if you understood if you have any if you have had the clarity please like this channel thank you so much